What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the love reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get this reading. I do have my Instagram and Snapchat below. Cancer, what's up Cancies? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Cancer as a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, Cancer, so in this reading, this is uh, going to be a love message. I'm going to see how you're feeling about your person here, how your person is feeling about you and the energy in the middle. Um, also, this is a love reading, so I am going to be very blunt and very straight to the point. Um, I love love and I like to let people know exactly what is going on um, so that you can make the right choices, choice, choices, choices for you. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's see. All right, Spirit. How's Cancer feeling about their person? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life and then you have passion. Allow your hearts and soul to sing with joy. Well, Cancies. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, all right. So clear as day. This is not going to be for all of you. This is only going to be for those of you who are with somebody from your past or who you got back with somebody from your past. And the sex was real good. Um, uh, if you guys aren't having sex with this person, it's just a passion. It's just like it feels really good. Like you're just like singing oh my gosh you're really happy right now with this person like you're like you feel good vibes you feel good vibes like you're just like back together and it feels so good but i don't you, listen we gotta dig deeper to see what what's but off the top like that's kind of what i'm seeing um all right cancer spirit how does cancer feel about their person Bottom of the deck is the moon, okay. The fool and the four of cups in reverse. The emperor in reverse and the star here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be here. All right, Cancy. So you feel like you knew that this was this was gonna happen. This could be this could be with an Aries too. It's like you knew it. You 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 saw it coming and it's you're in it, right? Um I also feel like you knew that um, you had to release control in order for you to get what you wanted with this person. Because I feel like your fear is that things aren't going to move forward with this energy. Um, but there's something here about... There's something here about... For those of you, this could be like a marriage. And I feel like... It's like you're ready, and I feel like it's it's hard. It's been hard, um, but I feel like you you've decided to try again or to not give up. But this time, you're not gonna be so like dependent on the energy. Like you're not gonna be as clingy, is what I'm getting. Just be careful. Anything from your past or returning to things that we walked away from is very a sticky situation. Okay. Um, I feel like it looks so good and so hot, but you have the moon here. There's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of things that are hidden from you, um, Capricorn. Oh, well, I said Capricorn. I know I'm talking to Cancies. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, we are in Mercury retrograde, which I think the I think it's in Capricorn. <laughs> I think it is in Capricorn. Um, and you know, things from the past are are coming back to test us. So just remember that. Make sure you don't go back to nothing because I see re reconciliation here. So, and if a lot of you guys feel like this is going to happen, um, that's fine. You don't have to entertain it. You don't have to allow it back into your life. Like that's not what that means because it comes back. Okay. But anyway, let's see how your person is feeling about you. How cancer's person feels, spirit? You have forgiving and learning. I just heard cry me a river and I say that to people for them to get over stuff. Um, calling in your soul and your prayers and affirmations. So your person wants you to forgive them. They want you to forgive them here. Um, I 
they feel like um they called you in like they feel like you like they like you were their wish and they got it i don't know let's see we'll be dealing with the pisces did i say that already all right um how does cancer's i'm gonna keep that how does cancer's person feel Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands in reverse. You have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Hi, yay, yay. Hi, yay, yay. The Hanging Man in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Cancer, no. Hell no. Sorry for cursing, but no. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. This person feels like they need to tell you something that they've been hiding because it's becoming too much of a burden to hold it in. This person is ref like, yeah, they're gonna tell they're gonna tell you something, but it's like they're not gonna change with the hangman in reverse. They're refusing to look at the situation in a different way. And I feel like they're going to try to justify maybe why they did something. It's not apologies. It's definitely not an apology. I don't know. I don't know if it's a justification or it, I don't know, but they're not apologizing, and that's my issue. The magician in reverse, this person is playing games. And this is crossing the seven of swords in reverse. So yeah, they're going to be honest because they want to come off to you as a certain way, but they're playing games. Like, why do people waste people's time? Like, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. That pisses me off. It's just the energy just feels so... Like not good and it's just like why would you do that why would you be in that space why would you be in that energy it's so not a nice energy like i just don't get it um this person thank you spirit spirit is literally like showing you this person's intentions or like This person is going to come in and want to offer you something here. And it's going to be so cute and so nice. That's probably why you're just like, ooh, uh, uh, ooh, ga, 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 Because they're saying all the right things. And they're going to. Because they know you. But behind that, they're, they really don't want this as much as you think or as much as they're saying. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. This person is going to be in and out of your life. Like the, the same way they were in the first time is the same way they're going to be in the second time. This person knows that you're reliable, that you're consistent. And that's why they're coming back because they could be going through shit right now. I'm sorry again for the cursing, but they could be going through things and they're like, well, I need to go. I need to go to my savior cancer, but you're nobody's superhero because who's going to save you? Who's going to save you? Not this person. This person is only coming back so like they can like clear their mind. And be like, well, at least I told them. Like, shut up. An apology is not an. There's not, like, you. Your intention behind everything is what really matters. I don't care what you're saying. What's your intention? What is behind it? This is why, like, I don't do love readings a lot because I feel everything so internally that i like i feel like if it's my own like if it's happening to me you know and that's why i um react this way but it's just like i just i just i'm very disappointed in this person i'm very disappointed and you were feeling so good over here all right spirit what is the energy between these two Bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. Okay. I heard home. The Devil in Reverse, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Strength card. All right. So what's between you guys right now is leaving this situation. <sighs> Releasing is what's between you guys right now. Um, I feel like both of you guys are having issues letting this go. And I feel like both of you guys are having issues of releasing the fear of what it's going to be after you guys let go. I feel like you guys right now are lacking self-love and respect for each other and e your own. Um, I feel like 
both of you guys inside there's nothing really emotionally that is like spewing like there is just like a like a flat line right now of emotions between both of you and i feel like both of you guys are focused on materials right now finances like it's not even this relationship with the king of, of pentacles here like crowning this um yeah you guys are both worried about your security here and it's like this situation is like it's like avoiding the big elephant in the room because yeah, I got bigger fish to fry. That's the energy I'm getting, but that's never that's never the that's never the right way to do things. Um, because it just drags out things and it stops what's actually meant for you to come in, whether love, whether money, whether whatever, opportunities, all of that. Because if we're not surrounded by the energies that we are supposed to be surrounded by or that we should be um things get delayed i feel like a lot of you guys are good to, are gonna be kind of upset about what i just said about this reading some of you guys aren't didn't expect that i was gonna say what i was gonna say because i'm like i'm feeling my energy like go low and I, it's just like but cancer is better that i that i told you that you are aware right because now you can act accordingly now you can make the right decisions for yourself and now you can take what I said and then just go and just go see if I'm right. Right? Don't tell anybody, obviously. Or maybe you should, whatever you want to do. But go see if I'm right. Right? Ask the right questions. Ask the right things. Peep certain things. Look at this person. And then come back to me and let me know. Because this person's a very good, like, I had to do this because of this type of energy. And it's just like that doesn't you have free will you know what you're doing you're not stupid like i don't want to hear it anyway i love you guys and i hope you guys have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive